So the solar panel is attached with the screws now. And now I'm in the phase of connecting electrically the connecting electric the solar panel screwed and I'm ready to do the electrical run between the solar panel to the Kodiak solar generator and I got the bronze package which came with one solar panel and came with this cord and like I said in my opinion Anything that Renergy does is a superior product. And what's nice about this is both ends are identical. So I cannot be making a mistake. And uh, these are the male ends and the uh, solar panels, uh, female end and the uh, Kodiak solar generator is a uh, female and I already marked roughly when I where I caught it and I don't know what I'm gonna find inside once I snip it and if it's it, like anything else that energy does I'll have no problem but if they don't, if the cables are identical, then I'll have to identify each cable right after the snip. But we'll see it in a little bit. This is the side of the cable that's going to drop down to the Kodiak solar generator. And this is a nice clear view of the plug that I was telling you where I just think it's very well engineered you could cut it in either way and there'd be no mistake because they're identical you know, just that you're going to have to deal with the length and if you didn't you'll have a long end and you'll have a short end and you know you need to put the long end across the roof so I measured mine I made a little loop here there's this little loop here and uh, I'm going to slice it with a utility knife and then I'm going to cut one cable to see what is there. Just one of these. This is what I got to go through the roof of the van into the van and stop the water. You have to slide it over the leads and I could only get for the energy the extremely well designed cable I could only get this on if I started started with this off so I had to have it off slide it on and then I put it on and it looks like that gauge 12 that's what comes with the solar panel a lot of guys will tell you, oh, this is a gauge 10, which means a bigger cable, easier flow. Entity, to my surprise and delight, is uh, gauge 8. Doesn't surprise me, though, as I keep praising them. So, I said to myself, I'm going to be able to identify separate cables when I slice them and how do I put them back together? All I have to do is match the writing. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. 
but then uh, yeah here it is one cable has writing on it and the other doesn't so where I cut him I take the side that has writing I match it to the size that has writing I take the side that doesn't have writing I attach it to the side that doesn't have writing cables connected correctly nothing to it straightforward 3a drill to go to the roof 38 and for the 38 drill I'm going to use garment I'm going to use the M9.53 and I got two that I'm going to have to increase the hole a little bit that's no big deal so I drill the hole I put the grommets probably have to write them up write them up on up on the cable I will have to do that and then when the cable is roughly the length I want I'll, ins I'll insert the grommets in the hole then I put the junction box on it by the way I will use the 3M tape on it also when I get to it I'll let you guys know transit 15 passenger van and has an airbag running the whole length of the van and I try to figure out how am I going to come in with the connections to the on the top and affecting the airbag here's a look at that airbag okay and I noticed that I could come in here I could I could come in here in this hole and I could exit here so now so now I drill these two holes I'm gonna come with the uh, not the way I want it to, not the aer aer aerodynamic, but I'm going to come in with the cables right in here. Right above the conduit for the air conditioner vent. Right 